forms and records. 1. Where is the record of compliance with airworthiness directives or manufacturer's service bulletins normally indicated? Aircraft maintenance records. 2. When approving for return to service after maintenance or alteration, the approving person must enter in the maintenance record of the aircraft. A description or reference to acceptable data of work performed, date of completion, the name of the person performing the work, if someone else, signature, certificate number, and kind of certificate held. 3. Which maintenance record entry best describes the action taken for a 0.125 inch deep dent in a straight section of 1 2 inch aluminum alloy tubing? Dented section removed and replaced with identical new tubing flared to 37 degrees. 4. What is the means by which the FAA notifies aircraft owners and other interested persons of unsafe conditions and prescribes the condition under which the product may continue to be operated? Airworthiness Directives 5. In order to reconstruct lost or destroyed aircraft maintenance records, what is it necessary to establish? Total time in service of the airframe. 6. For aircraft operated under Part 91, when is aircraft total time required to be recorded in aircraft maintenance records? After satisfactorily completing inspections. 7. Which is an appliance major repair? Overhaul of a hydraulic pressure pump. 8. Each person performing an annual or 100-hour inspection shall use a checklist that contains at least those items in the appendix of 14 CFR Part 43. 9. Which maintenance record entry best describes the action taken for a control cable showing approximately 20% wear on several of the individual outer wires at a fair lead? Wear within acceptable limits, repair not necessary. 10. When work is performed on an aircraft that necessitates the use of FAA Form 337, who should prepare the form? The person who performs or supervises the work. 11. During an annual inspection, if a defect is found which makes the aircraft unairworthy, the person disapproving must provide a written notice of the defect to the owner. 12. For aircraft operated under Part 91, which of the following records must be retained and transferred with the aircraft when it is sold? Records of the current status of applicable ADs, and date and time when recurring ADs are next due. 13. A certificated mechanic without an inspection authorization who signs the appropriate block on FAA Form 337 is doing what? Certifying that the work was done in accordance with the requirements of 14 CFR Part 43. 14. Where should you find this entry? Remove right wing from aircraft and remove skin from outer 6 feet. Repair buckled spar 49 inches from tip in accordance with figure 8 in the manufacturer's structural repair manual No. 281. FAA Form 337. 15. An aircraft was not approved for return to service after an annual inspection and the owner wanted to fly the aircraft to another maintenance base. Which statement is correct? The owner must obtain a special flight permit. 16. What is the status of data used as a basis for approving major repairs or alterations for return to service? Data must be FAA approved prior to its use for that purpose. 17. An FAA Form 337 is used to record and document major repairs and major alterations. 18. Which statement is true regarding the requirements for maintenance record format? Any format that provides record continuity and includes the required information may be used. 19. Which aircraft record entry is the best description of the replacement of several damaged helicoils in a casting? 814. 20-inch standard helicoils were replaced. The damaged inserts were extracted, the tapped holes gauged, then new inserts installed, and tangs removed. 
20. After a mechanic holding an airframe and power plant rating completes a 100-hour inspection, what action is required before the aircraft is returned to service? Make the proper entries in the aircraft's maintenance record. 21. Which maintenance action is an airframe major repair? The repair of portions of skin sheets by making additional seams. 22. Who is responsible for making the entry in the maintenance records after an annual, 100-hour, or progressive inspection? The person approving or disapproving for return to service. 23. An aircraft owner was provided a list of discrepancies on an aircraft that was not approved for return to service after an annual inspection. Which of the following statements is are true concerning who may correct the discrepancies? 2. An appropriately rated mechanic. 2. 24. Which aircraft record entry best describes a repair of a dent in a tubular steel structure dented at a cluster? Welded a reinforcing plate over the dented area. 25. For aircraft operated under Part 91, which of the following records must be retained for at least one year, or until the work is repeated or superseded? Records of maintenance, alterations, preventive maintenance, 100 hour, annual, and progressive inspections. 26. Which statement is true regarding the use of FAA Form 337? FAA Form 337 is not authorized for use with other than U.S. registered aircraft. 27. If work performed on an aircraft has been done satisfactorily, the signature of an authorized person on the maintenance records for maintenance or alterations performed constitutes approval for return to service only for the work performed. 28. If more space is needed for a work description entered on FAA Form 337, what information should be included on the attached sheet S in addition to the rest of the work description? Aircraft nationality and registration mark, and the date the work was accomplished. 29. After making a certain repair to an aircraft engine that is to be returned to service, an FAA Form 337 is prepared. How many copies are required and what is the disposition of the completed forms? 2. One copy for the aircraft owner and one copy for the FAA. 30. For aircraft operated under Part 91, what difference is there? if any, between the record entry requirements for maintenance, e.g., repair or alteration, and the record entry requirements for inspections, beyond the description of the work performed and the type and extent of inspection. Aircraft total time is required to be included only in the inspection entry. 31. Who is responsible for upkeep of the required maintenance records for an aircraft? The aircraft owner. 32. Which of the following may a certificated airframe and power plant mechanic perform on aircraft and approve for return to service? 1. A 100-hour inspection. 3. A progressive inspection, under specified circumstances. 33. When a 100-hour inspection is completed, if separate maintenance records for the airframe, power plant, S and propeller S are maintained, where is the entry for the inspection recorded? In each record. 34. What is are the appropriate action S concerning minor repairs performed on a certificated aircraft? 2. Entries must be made in the aircraft's maintenance record. 35. When a discrepancy list is provided to an aircraft owner or operator after an inspection, it says in effect that except for these discrepancies, the item inspected is airworthy.